Today's quick tip. Today I'm gonna tell you about some minor cards applied to the Brazilian accent. Um, in choro, frevo, and all other traditional styles, it's very common to find the minor silent chord. All right, I'm doing an example of C minor. Um, in Baião uh, and Choro, it's interesting sometimes if you explore the possibility in the fourth grade or the the first grade of the harmony to explore the minor sixth. A lot of times it will it's going to sound good in in the styles and reinforce the characteristics of these styles. Um, in Bossa Nova, um, a very common chord is the minor 7 with 9 and 11. You're gonna find uh, this so much. You can explore some minor chords that uh, appear on the lead sheets and try to experiment this two notes if they sound good all right and uh, other chord that you can find in bossa nova minor chord it's the minor seventh chord uh, minor chord with the major seventh sometimes you can end a song here or you can create a motion in the harmony starting with the minor major 7 and returning to the minor 7 and after that if you can you can put the minor 6 the minor 6th chord it's an interesting also uh, chord that we find in modern Brazilian music that you can explore for endings of songs you can mix the 6th uh, major 6 with major 7 also gonna sound interesting um, and there are a lot of styles that we don't have uh, harmony and if you want to create an interesting sound with uh, simplicity it's just put the minor with the, the minor chord with the major 9 this is a tip to create a knot uh, a simple chord with a, a interesting sound without more modernizing so much. So I think it's that. If you have more doubts about other styles and how the harmony works and some other stylistic things, uh, every day I'm doing tips, tips of the Brazilian accent improvisation. I'm Lucien Ruas and here every day, I'm here every day talking about Brazilian music. Thanks for watching and bye bye.